Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a carnivorous update for you, mainly on my sundew seedlings. I will show you a few baby sundews and go over the species with you. My pinguiculas are getting bigger. I did an update on them when I first got them and now they're enormous compared to that, so I'll quickly show you those. I got a new Venus flytrap today, so I'm kind of excited about that. I've always just had the regular Venus flytraps. So I have a, a different cultivator. And I want to share with you some of the most exciting news on the cobra lily there. I think we have a bloom stalk. Yeah, it doesn't look like new growth. It looks like um, maybe a bud. So let's get started here. I'll just quickly show you my pings. So these guys here were all about the size of these ones when I got them. They're very tiny. This one here has been, been flowering for quite a while. There's a spent bloom. There's another bud. These guys here, they've flowered quite a bit. They're um, a very good size now. They're really good at keeping down the fungus gnats. And since there's a lot of seedling carnivorous plants in here, that's probably a good thing. So to start with, I'm going to show you these few here these are my Drosera Benita or a forked sundew they're getting their first fork leaves on them only three came up but um, not to get discouraged I didn't have um, that many seeds to start with now these guys they were all mixed together so I'm going to have to wait till they're a little bigger before I can really separate them, although I can guess now. You're looking at between all of these ones, combinations of rotundifolia, intermedia, and what is the last one? Ange Angelica? The English sundew anyways, I never know how to pronounce it. Angelica? Anyways, so these ones are all temperate, which is nice because there's going to be so many of them. I'm going to be able to put them outside, and they'll be able to survive the winter here. They'll just go dormant, so they don't all have to be in the greenhouse. Some pots, lots came up. Other pots, not so many. This pot here is kind of interesting. It was planted at the same time, oops, let me focus this, you can see them right there. It was planted at the same time as this one, and this one. And they were all planted, and they were all in the greenhouse here, and I decided to throw these guys outside, and I buried this little cup in the ground in a mossy area where the sprinkler system is that comes on when it's not raining, so it got watered every day. You can see how they're red because they have um, been exposed to brighter light, but the growth is really stunted on them compared to these ones. Now I'm going to take you over to this guy. This one is my Alice Sundew here. And although I didn't plant them, it looks like I have some seedless coming up right there. And right there. So there's two more there. This guy does have a seed pod on him now, right there. So I will have some Alice undo seeds shortly. These are Capensis. That's what last year's seedlings look like. This is what this year's seedlings look like. They do get exposed to very bright light. They're outside right now, and um, they do really well outside, which is why I thought that I would try these guys outside. Maybe it was just the fact that I had those little guys in the ground. I don't know. These ones are just in a bigger pot, and they just stay in the sun in a tray of water. All right, moving on. These ones I'm most excited about. I did a video when these guys first germinated, and these are my king sundews, or Drosera regia. 
So they're on their third or fourth carnivorous leaf. They've been able to catch some bugs. There's a nice shot of one there. So these are king sundew seedlings. Don't have hundreds of them, but very excited about them. All right. On to a new Venus flytrap. I think it's pretty cool. It's got a nice big picture there. And I think what we're going to do is you guys can help me with my first feeding. I'm just going to back up here and grab some tweezers. I already collected um, a wood bug, I guess is a common name here. So, just going to pick up the wood bug if I can. Hard to do with one hand. Oh, there we go. All right. And you guys can witness its first feeding. There we go. Hopefully it works down a little bit. Got a second little bug here. That wood bug might have been a little bit big. Anyways, there's a nice red trap right here. I'm going to try feeding this too. There we go. That one almost got away here. Not because of it, just because of me and my tweezers. It in a little bit more. There we go. It's not going anywhere. So yeah, that is my new Venus flytrap. There's the tag. Dente. And on to the next bit of news. This is my cobra lily. And if you look right there, that's not new growth. I think that is a bloom spike coming out right there. Right there at my fingertip. There's not much information on the internet on them blooming these guys. There's certainly no um, YouTube videos that go into much detail about it. I haven't been able to find another bloom spike on a YouTube video just to compare but that's going to be my guess that we are going to have a cobra lily flower soon so I will keep you updated on that as well so that's going to be it for today's update I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and we'll have more updates for you soon thanks for watching